Okay, we are knifing pinto beans. They've been growing all season and we're ready to harvest them. So we have knives mounted on the front here that are running about an inch or inch and a half under the ground. And uh, we go along and it knifes off the roots of the plant and pushes two rows into one, uh, slides them together. So six rows become three twin rows behind us. And then we have to leave them lay there to dry for oh, five to seven days, depending on what the weather's like. Uh, and then we can come along and combine them. Farming in general uh, has been consolidating to where uh, farms are getting larger and larger with fewer and fewer farmers, um, which is common in most industries. larger and larger is accelerating as the government is cutting back on subsidizing farms. And so it becomes harder and harder for a small farmer to uh, be a viable business. And so the consolidation is accelerating. It's something that's really going to change over the next 10 to 15 years is most farmers in America are old and they're going to be retiring and virtually no younger uh, farmers are out there. There's a few but not very many because they had other opportunities to uh, have careers elsewhere and so there are not very many experienced farmers to take over for these older ones as they retire. And there's going to be a huge change in farming in America over the next 10 or 15 years as it is worked out who is going to raise our little food in this country because experienced uh, younger farmers just aren't there. It's not uh, a type of occupation that most younger uh, people wanted to pursue and so they left the farm and moved on and so now an experienced uh, generation of farmers to take over from the ones that are going to retire just does not exist mm -hmm. and so consolidation will have to happen and accelerate just so that there are enough experienced people left that know what they're doing to uh, actually produce food in this country. Mm -hmm.